So China and Germany moving closer together in the light of the U.S. tariffs. That's, that's a, I suppose, a coalescing of two huge geographies, isn't it? Well, exactly. I mean, um, Germany and, and China have a lot in common. They are uh, the biggest exporters in the world. So obviously they are the most hit by U.S. tariffs. Um, but th this said, this doesn't mean that um, they are uh, wanting to form an alliance against uh, the U.S., especially uh, at least uh, Angela Merkel doesn't want to do this because she's very well aware that uh, she has similar problems mm. as uh, Trump with China uh, in terms of market access to, to the country. Yes, indeed. And uh, how can Germany and China form a partnership? Of course, there's lots of things they, they maybe don't see eye to eye on. And for all China's talk about uh, upholding trade norms, there are some in Europe who are kind of angry about the way China has behaved on trade in the past. Yes, I mean, the foreign ministry has sort of outlined the, the future strategy. They are not looking at a, a, a strategy against the U.S., but more of a closer cooperation, a closer business cooperation. And that's what we are seeing today. There will be business deal will be signed um, on autonomous driving to work together there. And um, industry will foster this cooperation even now further. But I think we should not put too much hope on this, because in the past there have have been massive efforts to closer ties, to closer economic cooperation, and there were always hurdles, especially with regard to entrance into China.